There now, that's good. And yes, I was bad, I didn't pull completely off the road. Okay, let's go finish that field off. Oh yeah. And then the whole point of keeping track of those bales is to see, once they're all digested, how much digestate did we end up with in the tank. It would be a good thing to know, or a useful thing to know, I think. Because I'm, I'm kind of planning for the amount of digest, digestate I, I get, as opposed to the amount of money or the amount of silage I make. Because we do use a lot of digestate on this farm. Especially, I don't have cows. And, you know, cows make manure, which is good to spread on the fields, but we don't have any. Sheep don't the game rules so uh, our sheeps just make wool and babies and they're in the process of uh, cooking up some babies for next year but yeah you can see all the weeds on this field And this, this I believe, field of oil seed radish, so the only purpose of that is to add nitrogen to the soil. We had triticale in the field before, which is a form of wheat, some description. Okay, let's uh, get this thing unfolded and... Uh, plant the last hundred or so litres that we need here. <clears throat> now once... Drive up to the top. Easier. Another thing I'm doing you shouldn't really do is driving on crops that are all on driving on ground that's already planted. That's bad form too. Especially with uh, whatever this is. 12 ton tractor. Alright. Which is again one of the reasons why real farmers do the headlands last, because you do the middle, you don't drive over the seeds you've already planted. <coughs> and then you do the headlands last, so you finish off on the outside of the field so you don't have to drive over anything you've planted. Oh! I must admit, I, I've not kept track of all my follows. I did end up with one guy following me because I was playing on Lawfold's Aberdeenshire map in Farm Sim 17 and he thought, oh, Aberdeenshire, it must be the soccer. So, yeah, no, not really. I'm not even watching the soccer on TV either because I'm in America and we don't get it. But, uh, that was kind of amusing. He, he stayed around and talked about the gameplay. I don't think I ever saw him come back, but uh, yeah, interesting diversions. At one point I was streaming on weekdays and I would stream things like American Truck Sim and uh, European Truck Simulator. And so I think it was on New Year's Day one year, I don't have to work on New Year's Day. So uh, I figured, oh, I'll play, and I think it was American Truck Sim, and I ended up with a whole bunch of truckers watching me play Truck Sim. And uh, well, the obvious comments about how bad I'm, uh, I'm driving the truck in uh, virtual world. 
but once they started realising they were all truckers, it was sort of, you know what, I do this in real life. I've got no idea why I'm sat here watching some guy play a computer game driving a truck. But, uh, yeah, viewers appreciate it. <laughs> and JWoww. Um, good day. Welcome to the stream. And... Under certain parlance, you've just pulled an eye rock. But, uh, we are finishing planting up this field. Surprise barley! Um, I checked the uh, the geo, and it turns out I've got enough time to plant some barley here and harvest it before the crop I actually want to plant can even be planted. So, yay! Um, I've had a good week. I, I took last week off. Wifey is not very well. And so um, she was actually in the hospital two weeks ago. So I took time off from work so I could go visit because she's down in Detroit and we're about an hour's drive from there. <coughs> so the only way I could go visit her was by yeah, taking the time off. But they released her. They still have a ton of tests to do, so over the coming weeks I'm going to be taking the odd day here and there to take her down to the hospital. But uh, So, last week was a week off, next week is back to work. But, uh, that's a thing. Yeah, we are, we're all kind of hoping that. The problem is, is we don't know what's wrong with that. And until they're finished doing their tests, we don't, you know, we're not going to know. And I think they were supposed to schedule tests when they released her from Detroit. And they seem to have forgotten to do that. We've now gone a week and a half. No, definitely not COVID. That much we can say. Um, obviously, you go into hospital, the first thing they do is test for COVID. So definitely not COVID, but you do have, I think they suspected pneumonia and possibly another um, viral infection. So uh, she was up on, dosed up on antibiotics for a week. <clears throat> and then they said, that's all looking good. It looks like that's clearing up. So you can go home. But we found something else wrong with you that is definitely a some form of problem and we need to test and see what's going on so we're still waiting for those tests to be scheduled and uh, Mrs. Osa has been chatting to her family doctor and saying look you know I know you're not involved in all of this however this is what's going on. I've got no idea. Nobody's told me anything. Is it possible for you to chase these people up and get this all moving? So that's kind of where we are today. Push that up. We'll put. I'll unload that and put it put it away. Need to figure something else out. Did I see the dog over there? Nope. Oh, oh. oh, and there he is. <laughs> so we'll drive past here. I'll drop the seed off by the seed store. And then. Uh, there. We'll put the cedar away. <clears throat> Was there anything else I wanted to do with the seed? Oh, I might want to plant oil seed radish, but I don't know entirely yet. So, not too bothered about doing that quite yet. And this is the planter for oilseed radish too. I usually go with a planter that doesn't do fertilizer. Um, and I think that's a hangover from 17. Um, if you had a planter that took uh, 
seed and fertilizer you had to fill both up in order to use a worker and if I'm planting oilseed radish I don't want to fertilize that crop because it is fertilizer that's going to improve the yield of the money-making crop that I plant after it so uh, my seeders tend to be incapable of uh, doing fertilizer and it, it's no big deal to run around with a sprayer or a, a spreader like that and uh, just fertilize after you planted okay we are done with the challenger so, at least for now so this can go back in the shed Where did I put the case? Uh, the case I think is still in, is also in the shed, so that's fine. Yeah, he's over there, so that's good. Multicolored tractoring equipment. That's our two main working tractors. I've got a little Valtra here. This is our spraying tractor. It's kind of small. It's currently set up for topping sugar beets, and I'm hoping that topper works for uh, potatoes as well, but we will find that out later. Um, our, our class is out here. For some reason, that's shifted. I don't know what that's all about. I think I've got a wandering problem with that particular piece of equipment. But we've run dry on digestate, and until I can get some more, that's not going to happen. We've got bales feeding in there. I've got three more to go before I've got 30 in the tank. And then we can run over here once that's fully digested. We'll do this right now. So 14,700 litres in uh, not 27 bales, because obviously it's 50,000 in the, the feeder. And uh, <coughs> we've still got at least one full and one partial bale on top there. Um, as far as everything else is concerned on the plant, what did we do today? We created 64 bales, paid for out as well. We used 2,300 litres of seed, yeah, we did. Um, and we did a whole bunch of stuff. We did ploughing, we did sowing. I've sowed 0 0.01 less than I ploughed. Oh, okay then, take your word for it. Um, so 27 is planted, 26 has oilseed radish in, we've got to wait for that to grow. This is partially, um, oh you can't see it there, it's partially nitrogenated with, um, with digestate. Obviously we'll finish that off when we can bring more digestate to the field. I'm kind of hoping we have enough for field two, but I don't hold out much hope. Uh, these are potatoes, so they'll be ready when they're ready. Maybe tomorrow game day, maybe a couple of days hence. Check the uh, uh, potatoes are technically ready to harvest any time now, but they're not ready yet. Um, so. I go. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, contracts. We haven't looked at those in a while. Um, farmers are planting fields. See, if I wanted to buy that field, I'd want to buy that field before the sowing contract is done. We got another one there. Another one there. I could plant those fields myself and uh, get paid for it. If I and, and what I'd normally do is I'd be looking at that and saying, oh, you want grass? I think I've got less than 100 litres of grass available, so I might not want to plant that one. Um, 
This one wants Miss Cancer. Miss Canthus. I don't have any Miss Canthus. 42 wants wheat. Uh, we do have some wheat seeds, so I could plant that. I think I've got wheat because I planted someone else's field. Uh, that one wants grass as well. Fertilizing is easy, but my fertilizing tractor is currently set up to the uh, or hooked up to the the topper. So, but yeah, I might look into some contracts. How are we doing for contracts, by the way? So it's, uh, that's an achievement. We have thirty-five of a hundred done. I need to do a hundred to uh, get that achievement completed. So, okay, that is what it is. Miss Canthus is a type of grass. It's actually that tall stuff that we were right next to. We could probably beam over there, um, at least somewhat close. 30. Is it? Pretty sure. Where's the exit? across in front of the traffic, nobody coming. So it's some form of grass, but it's quite a tall grass. This stuff. So it's, it's really tall grass. Um, and sheep don't eat it. I don't even know what you use, what you harvest it with. It, it's a crop I haven't played with a lot. I played with clover, um, primarily because when it comes to feeding of the sheep, where's the feeding of the sheep? Um, they take grass silage and clover silage, oh, clover hay, alfalfa hay, and clover hay. Oh, more clover. They take fresh grass grass clover again fresh maize and uh, hay pellets and then they take sugar beets or carrots well i got a ton of sugar beets because we went crazy with sugar beets a couple of years ago and i've carried on doing sugar beets because i bought the harvesting equipment but because every column uses some form of clover i figure i'll do clover because clover is not affected by time it doesn't decay I can leave it out in the open or I can put it away so clover lasts forever the problem with grass is it decays and so this uh, line here can be a problem if I'm relying just on grass the problem is is I've had a problem on this map trying to feed the sheep clover um, see here they, they they won't accept clover here so uh, that's that's a problem and if I could figure out how to get clover into their feed trough then I would um, I wouldn't have a problem here also this trough isn't accepting grass out of the field this trough is that's why this, this one's at 100 percent because it's just taking grass growth out of the field um, it's in this one isn't I'm hoping where's the other sheep field elm flower field this field here I don't own this field yet but again I'm hoping this field will act as advertised but nothing uses miss myth cat miss whatever it is miss campus so you're really just looking at alfalfa clover alfalfa and clover work kind of the same thing so do one you they're, they're the same uh, grass silage, silage grass. Don't know what the difference is. Silage maize, silage fresh maize, hay pellets. So that's part of the straw harvest add-on. Um, to make pellets, you need half a million. So if this canthus is accepted at the sawmill. Okay, there you go. At least on this map. Um, Spelt, rye, triticale are just other um, cereal crops. They work exactly the same as wheat, barley and oats. Um, horse silage, horse hay, um, semi-dry, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the difference between those two is. Um, crop swath, 
that is um, going through a crop with a forage harvester. So wheat, barley, oats, that type of thing, just stripping through. Um, obviously, it looks like you have to bale it in order to make money off it. Works like stuff. Carrots, onions, not bothering with carrots and onions. I could do carrots because the sheep eat carrots, but to be fair, whatever. Field grass, clover silage. So there's the clover. And then alfalfa. And then we're into the normal stuff. So, yeah, so as I said, yeah, alfalfa works very much like clover. I think alfalfa is preferred by um, cows. Clover is preferred by sheep. Um, the, I think that that's a function, that's a cross function of seasons and the map created. So this map um, might actually be Maze, Maze Plus, Seasons Maze Plus and, and the map. So technically what's supposed to happen is, um, if we go, let's go say hi to the sheeps. So we come over here, hi sheeps, we have a bunch of sheep in this field, but you'll notice the grass, the grass here is full height. This is 100% growth. The grass here isn't, and I haven't cut this grass. Now there is some destruction here because I keep driving over it to get to the troughs. But this grass is being fed into this trough automatically. So while there is grass, so obviously not early spring because the grass hasn't started growing after winter or during winter, the grass will not auto replenish. But other than that, it's being drawn from this field. And this is a field. This was by the map designer plowed and planted with grass field rather than what some people call map grass I some I will frequently call it pasture because it's not field so if we come up here this was all pasture land so it, it wasn't a field and the the trough here wasn't auto replenishing so what I decided was um, literally a couple of streams ago to plough up this field and replant it with grass seed in the hopes that now that it's a field maybe it will replenish this trough but as you can see it's not growing yet um, you know, it, it, it's, it's up to the zeroth stage of growth which is you know, there's grass here but it's not usable I've got to wait for it to grow one stage and hopefully, as soon as that happens, this trough will be full of grass. I, I also uh, ploughed up the field. No, that's not a field. Um, the cow shed pasture here, and we planted this one too. This is fully fertilised, fully pH, so I laid out lime and um, stuff. Um, and fertilizer this one I'm not bothering because the only reason I have put grass in this field is in the hopes that that trough will be replenished we shall see and of course we've only got what was it six days until winter and then the grass all dies out anyway uh, we have two stacks of clover hay here so that's good to keep the the sheep through winter I've got a whole ton of sugar beets which should last me till next fall when we have more sugar beets to harvest that's the wool left over after the best price and that one um, I have a couple of clover bales here but they were they're not accepted at that feed trough I may be taking them to the wrong point that's another possibility. I've got loose clover in here just to see if it would uh, um, uh, what's it? De decay over 
time and it doesn't so that's a thing um, I've got a couple of uh, I think hay and clover here just to see if they decay they don't this is still a 4,000 litre clover bale which has been rained on this is clover hay which has been rained on and they're still 4,000 litres so weather doesn't affect clover it does affect grass if you store it outside so well it, it affects hay if you store it outside but uh, grass just decays over time so I can cut grass I can store it in a shed and in a couple of days it's all gone so that's the thing it's not so much uh, growth is slowed down by seasons seasons controls growth growth only happens at midnight and each crop has a certain number of days between each growth cycle so the the crop we just planted today the barley this is planted and if we go to barley 41 degrees it's more than 41 degrees so it's going to germinate so tomorrow this should turn this very light green color zero state what i call the zero stage of growth and anywhere that it fails to germinate you'll get a little blue patch where it failed to germinate i don't think we will have any germination failures because the temperature is uh, 52 degrees ground temp so adequate for for barley barley will germinate at that temperature so this should be barley at zero stage of growth so you go out to the field it looks like mud still and then seasons and then over the course of I think it's typically per seasonal step so we planted this on day three so day six it should reach growth stage one day nine it'll reach growth stage two um, sometimes it'll skip one because it can't be harvested until um, what's that uh, first day early summer so there may be slowdowns in the growth but it would appear typically it's approximately every seasonal step so what in farm sim 22 will be months march april may june july august etc etc um, and so the number of days you select per season we've selected nine so every three days you get a change in um, in uh, month long hauler good day and you've seriously pulled the night rock so um i hope your saturday is going good but anyway so you know it's the growth cycles in um in seasons is based on the number of days you've selected for the season so it's always going to grow at the same rate but if you have more days per seasonal period it's going to take more days for that rate to be achieved and it's the same with animal food animals we look at um, our sheep again um, okay let's select that they require 280,000 liters per year but um, if you're playing with three day seasons that's 12 days divide that by 12 if you're playing it with uh, nine day seasons that's four, nine, 36 36 days so we use less than 10,000 liters of food per day on the the thing um you know on on the daily food usage um, production the same with sheep they'll produce far more wool per day if you have a shorter season period so that's that's is what it is so anyway i am i need some food i need more drink um so i'm gonna call it here we'll be back next week friday uh, next week friday next week saturday morning around nine o'clock um for some more of this and i have again no idea what's going to happen i'm probably going to sell the uh, silage bales off camera 
I'll make a note of how much digest egg we make out of however many bales we actually sell and um, we'll find that out next week and then maybe there'll be potatoes to harvest and maybe there'll be contracts to do because nothing's happening on our farm but all in all I think things are going well um, but for right now everybody have a great weekend and I'll catch you next week but for now, I'm out of here.